Hey guys, it is me, Hepsirk, and welcome back to Last on Earth Survival. So season 28 continues, and today we've gotten a brand new event in the calendar. So it's not completely brand new, brand new event, but hey, this is the Crooked Week Farm event, and it's still gonna last here for about one day and eight hours, so let's do it. Here we'll be able to get some points towards our season pass, and damage done by shotgun is increased by 25%, so who knows, maybe we're gonna use some shotguns, maybe we'll use some melee weapons to speed up the process inside of that farm location, because actually in the past, Katana would be doing more damage, but now the shotgun does more damage. Wait, I actually want to see what tasks we have to do there. I didn't see. Deal damage uh, with shotgun at the farm. We have to do 1,000 damage with the shotgun because before we had to do 1,000 damage with a katana. Well, there's that, whatever. But before we even go there, I want to quickly talk to the raiders and I want to see what kind of tasks we have to do. We have to go and deal with their revenger, which is perfect because I plan to go to the farm location anyways. So guys, let's take about maybe one or two shotguns. Let's bring some melee weapons. And let's go, let's clear that place ASAP, and then we can go for the first raid of the day, because that's what we are we are going to be doing today. Probably we're going to be doing a bunch of and bunch of raids. But hey, before we do all those things, I'd like to say welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps so you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a little bit quicker. And we are going to craft, guys, some... Actually, we're not going to craft, but we're going to go and upgrade these weapons. So let's put on some melee mods on this pipe. And then let's go for it. Let's go, guys. Let's 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 clear that farm location. And hey, once again, welcome, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully, you're having a great Saturday. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. I think two shotguns should be enough in those pipes. Should be more than enough. That's it. Let's hop now on our bike on our our chopper and let's go let's go what is the next conan exiles video maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow that might be actually the last conan exiles video so i don't want you guys to get your hopes too much to hide the it doesn't really look like a lot of you are enjoying conan exiles so i don't think i'm gonna continue it but who knows there will be three episodes on it but we'll see maybe there will be a fourth one maybe there will be a live stream a bit longer live stream on it we'll see haven't decided yet nothing is written in stone Yet, but hey, let's go to the Crook Tweak farm and let's check it out. My legendary survivor pack is only one hour left and uh, something. Well, that legendary survivor's pack should probably come back because on my free to play account, uh, I had that legendary survivor's pack show up all the time. Like it doesn't disappear. They say that it's a limited time offer, but it will just keep, up keep appearing unless they've changed something. I don't know. Oops, oops, oops. Let's get the pipe. Let's deal with these guys. Yo, combat engineer. Welcome, Juju. Just welcome, welcome. To all of those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm probably gonna break this Glock. There we go. This way we'll have a bit more space in our inventory. Not, not like that was a problem, but hey, there's that. How much damage did we do with one shot? 77 damage. Alright. Pretty decent. Check the big hunt event. I've already done the big hunt event last time. There's nothing really to check with the big hunt. It's still gonna last for a few days, but maybe we're gonna participate in this big hunt event just a little bit, but I don't know why would you want me to check it, what there is to check. It's just a horrible event. What there is to check with that big hunt event. Oops, didn't mean to get it. Should I buy Legendary Survivor Pack or not? It's only $2. It's up to you. If you have $2, you can do it. If no, then no. I'm not the... I'm not financial advisor. It's all up to you. It's like collect the daily reward. Wait, do we, do we still have even those daily rewards? There is no daily reward. What are you talking about, Sammy? Where is the daily reward? There's nothing. Daily bonus starts on September 26th, so it's not here yet. It's like, is it worth it to use guns on the farm location, says uh, Gamer. I have no idea. Uh, not like I have no idea. Probably not really. It's not worth it. I've done videos in the past on how you can clear the farm location. Like Most of the time, you should be just wall tricking these... Uh, savage giants and that's it you shouldn't be wasting your weapons but sometimes you will get unlucky and there will be just a bunch of zombies in one spot there will be some raiders so you should have a glock at least to deal with some raiders this way you'll save some more healing items but again it also depends on how many healing items you have and on how many guns you have 
from my experience, guns are easier to obtain than healing items. So, you can bring here a Glock, and one Glock should be plenty. You can use it when situation gets a bit tighter. When, as I said, raiders appear, or when bunch of and bunch of zombies spawn at the same time. Okay, let's get a little bit of raw meat, and let's just chug it down. Just like that. There we go, because I was uh, dying out of thirst. Almost dying out of thirst. Alright, how much damage we've done? We've probably already done 1,000 damage with the shotgun. Okay, so we don't need to use that shotgun anymore. Probably I'll still use it. Oh no, I'm getting punched. Okay, that did not work. Alright, so I'll go around in a circle. And now we can probably wall trick these guys. So that's what I'm talking about when I mean wall trick. Again, be very careful, especially when there are both of these guys fighting you at the same time. As it's going to be harder to sync them up. But after you deal with one of them, you can deal with another one. So that'll be the more efficient way to clear the farm location. But again, you don't even have to kill all of those savage giants. Just kill the savage giants the, that are attacking you. And the rest of the savage giants, once you open up the blue box, they will all come to you. And then you'll just lure them around the farm. So that's pretty much it. But again, if you have melee weapons, you can just wall trick them. That'll be easier. You won't have to lure them around. And another tip and trick about the farm location is you should probably kill as many zombies as possible before opening that blue box. Like again, you don't even have to kill this frenzy giant on the on the road. You could just lure him later. But I just like dealing with them. Again, you could wall trick him. As I've shown in the past. But anybody got time for that? If we're gonna wall trick every single zombie, there will be no raids, guys. We'll do only one raid today, and I'm planning to do more raids. Okay, there's a raider. So these raiders were pretty simple. Sometimes there will be raiders with M16s, with Glocks or something, and they will be doing more damage. So that's why I advise you to bring a, a gun with you. Alright, there's the Revenger. Let's quickly deal with the Revenger. Let's get enough melee weapons. And let's go, let's deal with them, ladies and gents. Before somebody says that, Sayak, it's not Revenger! Lies. Then who is this if it's not Revenger? Hmm. I noticed your bookcase is out in the open. Can bookcase be raided? No. Uh, raiders don't raid your bookcases. Not at least yet, I don't know. I mean, they haven't raided mine. So they cannot raid it, but... We never know when developers decide will decide to change something. Raiders can't read that's why, says Brandon Aguilier. Yes, indeed. Welcome mate, to the stream, and I couldn't have said better myself. Raiders don't know how to read, so why would they go to the bookcase? That is smart indeed. Alright, let's go here. And oh my God. C Run Master, sorry for butchering the name, but hey, thanks, mate, for joining the membership. Thanks for smashing that join button. Welcome, welcome, C Run Master. Sorry for butchering the name. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. And there we go. We have dealt with the Revenger. Let's get the pieces of cloth. Let's craft the two bandages. And let's get that all. What is the worst useless perk in the game? I have no idea. What do you mean by perks? Alright, I'll deal with this savage giant. Again, it's worth it to deal with these rotten yokels because as soon as you open up that blue box, these rotten yokels will start chasing you. So you have to kill them right now one by one, otherwise you'll have to fight 10 or even more rotten yokels at the same time. Again, get your crowbar and you can go and deal with this savage giant. You can wall trick that savage giant. How to get the extra pockets says Elijah. It's Elijah, it's random. It is random. You don't get it guaranteed. Sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't get it. 
Some people get it in a level 10, some people get it in a level 100. So it's just all luck and RNG. What are the best items to give to raiders? And modded spears. Modded spears are really nice to give to raiders. They will accept them. Most of the time they take only one modded spear. Sometimes you'll have to give them two or three modded spears depending on the raid, but most of the time they take only one. And they'll be happy with it. All right, let's get that blue box. Let's try it. Wait, before we open it, we need to go and loot the farmhouse. Let's quickly check this place out. Are there any new sneak peeks? I've shown all the sneak peeks last time. So for those who just haven't seen them, right? Let's go through all the sneak peeks that we got. We have these two workbenches. We got these two workbenches. We have this sneak peek of this character coming to the game. And then we've got an, these sneak peeks. And you know what, guys? I've forgotten how that word is called. But basically, you'll be making like some sort of planks out of... Uh, wood. I'm just gonna go on the comment and I'll give the shout out to that dude who said this because this is the most, the smartest comment that I've seen about what this workbench can be. Wait, let me find that comment here real soon. And basically the guy says, the Thiago Javier de Campos, that was the dude who left the comment. He said, that new machine looks like a pressure used for producing MDF planches. That sand probably sawdust. The planches probably will be used for building floor cheap houses in the new settlement. Yeah, like the, the point is it's the, it's the, it's for producing MDF planches and it makes sense. Because it has nothing to do with stone. These things have nothing to do with stone. It's just sawdust and they'll just, you you can just press that sawdust with other stuff into those MDF planches. So that's what it is. And I'm almost certain about it. 100%. So yeah, shout out to that guy. And let's get that. Yeah, those are all the sneak peeks that we got. Those are all the sneak peeks that we got. So probably that thing will be the... Those MDF planches or whatever they're going to be called. They'll be new resources in the game. Except it looked like we can craft it on our main base. But why would we need that stuff on our main base? Maybe none of the workbenches will be in the settlement. Maybe all the new workbenches will be in our base. I have no idea. Maybe. It's a large concrete block maker. No, it's not. That is the stupidest thing I've heard, even though last time I might have thought that so myself, but it makes no sense. But those MDF planches from Sawdust, 100%. I could, I'm like 99% certain that that's what it's going to do. 99.9% .9 certain, like that that's what it's going to do. Because that makes perfect sense. Makes absolutely perfect sense, that's what it is. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, let's get that shotty. Again, guys, you don't even have to use the shotgun here. You can just get this pipe and deal with this savage giant while wall tricking. Again, you might get punched in the face here and there. But hey, Siren Master, thanks for the super chat. Send my name almost correct. Here's a reward. Uh, Siren Master, Siren Master. Sorry if I keep butchering the name. But hey, thanks for everything. Thanks for being here on the channel. Thanks for the support. How would your backpack look if you if you made it? I already shown my backpack sketches. I would just enlarge this backpack that we have. I've probably even shown it. I've definitely shown it in the past. I don't have the picture of it here right now to show it quickly, but you've seen it. Massive, huge backpack. The bigger, the better. Like, it would look ridiculous. I even ha I even made my own fridge backpack, guys. You've seen it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, duct taped grip. Nothing here. Valuable survivor's diary. Let's read that. And let's get it. All 
All right, guys, let's open it up. We are ready. I am ready. We plus we've gotten 500 points towards the season pass, which is awesome. Guys, don't start about the backpack topic, says uh, Hanuel. Januel, sorry if I butcher the name. But you know what? I don't mind talking about backpacks. I'll show it. I'll show those backpack designs. All right, there's one more Savage Iron. Maybe that's it. Maybe there are no more Savage Giants coming after us. So I'll just deal with this guy and that's it. So that was a pretty simple farm location. Sometimes you'll get a harder scenario. There will be more Savage Giants. But hey, guys, let's open this thing up. Drum roll, please. And we've gotten a machete blueprint ripper blade. Dude, this was so close. This was so close. But it was supposed to be purple machete blueprint. But it's a blue purple blueprint. It's a blue blueprint, not blue purple blueprint. It's just a blue blueprint. The ripper blade, that's not what I need. We already have this blueprint, but we were close. We were this close and yet so far. So close and yet so far. Whatever. Is there anything else that I can take from this place? Once again, we've gotten three copper bars. Lovely. And the skull crusher with the big freaking hammer. Let's take it with us. And let's bring all of that stuff back to the base, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome. And somebody mentioned the backpack, right? And I want to do something. Back. Back, right? I want to show you that big backpack. I want to show you that. I've made the picture and somebody spoke about the backpack. So I might as well just show that big backpack. Am I right? Of course. Except... If I find it, guys, in the next five seconds. If I cannot find it in the next five seconds, then I won't be able to show it. But if I find that picture that I've made in the last five seconds of the backpack that I would like in the game, then I'll show it. Uh... Well, there are other ones, but I don't see that other big one. It's not... Oh, there we, there we go. There's the, there's the bad boy. There is the bad boy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. This is the backpack that I want. If there's ever a possibility to add a backpack in the game, right? I want this backpack. This massive backpack, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I want. Is that too much to ask? I don't know. Yo, a fridge. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. A literal fridge. But it's a larger fridge. It's just... It's not a tiny fridge. It's like triple, quadruple the size. That's what I want. So developers, if you're watching the live stream, I want it. Is this real? Guys, do you speak English? Because I clearly don't. This is my concept art, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I would like to have in the game. This is not coming to the game. Unless hopefully I'm wrong and it is actually coming to the game. But hey, developers, if you're watching this, because obviously that's what developers do on Saturdays. They watch my live streams. So hey, developers, welcome, welcome. And I want this back back in the game. Thank you very much. Really cool. Really cool. All right, let's get back now to the base and let's get ready for the first raid of the day. I would like to have that backpack. Yes, indeed. You'd have to put all your stats and strength. But I mean, we can already carry lots of stuff in our backpack, so it's, it's whatever. Too big, says Pink Lady. No. I will politely disagree with that. We have lots of small backpacks. Why can't we have a large backpack? Like, is it going to hurt anybody, right? We have so many backpacks that 90% of those backpacks aren't used. So why not give me a big backpack that I will use? There's no such thing as too big. I'd actually like it even bigger. Gooper. I want it to be ridiculously big. So that you wear it and people will be like, Psych, why are you wearing this fridge? Like this backpack, right? It's it's big, but I've gotten the habit of it. And now it looks small. And Saran Master, thanks for another super chat. By the way, greetings from Czech. I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good day as well. Thanks for everything, mate. Welcome, welcome to the stream once again. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day. It's going to give the player back pain. No, it's the awesome backpack 3000 with, 3, with uh, epic technology. Nano technology, the backpack won't be heavy at all. The weight will be distributed. The gravity and physics, guys, you know. So yeah, that backpack will be extremely comfortable. That's all I can say. <laughs> Why not carry your entire base on your back, says Lord of Darkness. Yes! Oops, wrong button. It was supposed to clap. 
but yes. Or like these racks. I wouldn't mind just... I wouldn't mind to attach these racks on the back. Oh my god, so I do it right now! Photoshop it! Um, would you really guys want me... Yes. You would want me to do this. Let's go here. Real quick, guys. It's just gonna take a second, right? Let's go real quick. Let's go real quick. Let's Photoshop this thing on our back. And then I'll skedaddle. It's gonna take us like 30 seconds. Just a rough sketch. That's another backpack that I want. Guys, don't worry. Just, just a second. Just a second. And as they say, uno momento, por favor. Um, there we go. We got him. Almost. There we go. There's my character. Let's just crop this thing out. And your mind, guys, will be blown once you see this backpack. Guys, just wait a second. I'm doing it. I'm moving as fast as I can. Actually... I need to move to another side so that it would look better. Let's go here, guys, and let's just stand in this position. There we go. It'll look a bit better once I'm here from those other backpacks. Further away from other garbage. Let's see, guys, guys, the last few touches. And I'm almost ready. Taking too long. Nothing takes long, guys. The art takes time. That's all I have to say, guys. Art takes time. Art, if you can call this thing art. There we go. I'm actually happy with the... Uh, with how it turned out. Almost happy. There we go, ish. Oh my god, it's like, show it, show it to me. Guys, don't worry, soon you'll see everything. And if we don't get a backpack like this, developers, I'll be very disappointed. I'm just basically giving you free ideas here. And I don't even work at Kefir. And yet I'm giving the, these free ideas. So, I don't know, man. I suggest you do finish all weapon upgrades. Because you have all the loot for it. Do it for the mimes. Do it for the mimes? For the memes? Uh, Frank TL, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. And I don't know, but why would I finish the weapons? I don't think I'll be finishing them, to be honest. Because why would I finish garbage weapon blueprints? I'm never gonna even use them. It was supposed to look better, but... It's goop, guys. Just forget it. Oh my god, thank you. Just wasted the time. Yes. Apparently, I wasted the time. It doesn't look that... That good. That's all I have to say, guys. Just probably forget it. We made it, but the backpack... Could have been better. Well, let's just add it. Backpack. The point is, again, we could spend more time. I could add the... It doesn't really look as good as I wanted it to look like. It just looks like we are standing close to that thing. That's the problem with it. Boom, guys. There we go. I have it. But it just looks like we are standing near that thing. That's the problem with this backpack. What we need to do is add the... The backpack straps, right? We could add it. We could add the backpack ropes to it. It would look better, but... Eh. It's... 
It is something. It is... Well, let me do just something else real quick. Just something else real quick. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get from here. I should have done that thing when I'm standing on the grass instead of the base. It would it would have looked better. In any case, let's just get out from that. Is that a backpack skin? Yeah, that's supposed to be backpack skin. But it would have been it would have looked more real if we were standing here on the grass because I'm standing there in the base, so it looks like it's standing on the floor. It doesn't really matter. Time wasted. But hey, let's get ready for the raid number one. Uh, let's raise three poppies. If they ever make that, they should make it store the same amount of loot. Yes, indeed. If we could have, like, an entire rack on our back. Especially upgraded rack that could store 70 items in one slot. That'd be more. That would be very lovely. My back, my back says infinity. Don't worry, the guy, the character wouldn't cry about it. I'd make sure of that. Uh, we can only do one ra- uh, we can only raise one puppy. Uh, let's do this. And, uh, C4. Let's get a C4. And let's get ready, guys, for the first raid of the day. Let's roll. Do you think the new workbenches are going to be in the settlement or in our bases? Because in the new tees for the workbenches, it looks like they are in the... In a wooden room. I don't know where they're gonna be. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> I've been talking about those workbenches for the past two live streams, so there's not much... I can say about them really that I haven't said yet. I don't know where they'll be. Would make sense if they were in the settlement because the settlement has nothing, but apparently... At least one of those workbenches is not going to be in the settlement. So I don't know. We can just speculate. We can only speculate. Um, Let's get this. I might drop this armor in the chest. And it's been a really long time since, I, since I've gotten a revenge raid. A really long time. I mean, even if I've gotten a revenge raid. I wouldn't have been able to do it because the... The thing, whatever it's called, the pickup truck didn't have anything. It was empty. Okay, let's drop it. And let's get ready. Um... Have I already spoken to the raiders? There we go. Now we are ready. So guys, let's get two blocks. Let's get ten hatchets as always. And we can roll. We can begin our adventure. Let's drop it here. Let's get a Glock. Wait, I have one Glock over there. Let's get one and perhaps we have one more here. Okay, we have two broken ones. Which will be perfect. Let's get these broken ones. Let's get some healing items. And now let's get the hatchets. Can level 3 walls protect your base from revenge raids? Not really. Unless you're going to have lots of level 3 walls. And then maybe if you're going to have... Level 1 or level 2 walls around your base. You also have to build them in a honeycomb way, like with a bunch of squares, so I don't know. It's tricky. Raid with level 3 walls on your own discretion. And 
five normal hatchets. Uh, and yeah, Frank TL, uh, thanks for the super chat once again. And yeah, you mentioned that we should maybe build all the blueprints on the weapons. Somebody just mentioned the blueprints in the chat, so yeah, just remember the thing about the blueprints. I just don't think that it's worth it to build all of those blueprints. Like, we do lots of things for the memes, like I've built blueprints for the zip gun, right? We have, where's the zip gun? We have all the mods for the Winchester because that's the memes, right? I have blueprints for the zip gun. Because, hey, why why not memes, right? But building these other random blueprints is just... Seems kind of pointless. Like, I don't see the reason of why, why, why I should build that stuff. Like, I'll never use it. It's not really a meme if I'll never use it. I might as well just delete those resources. And it's not even about the... About the resources. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If I'm never gonna use that blueprint, not even for the meme, like, is it really a meme then? Um, mm, thinking, thinking, the head is thinking. That's it, we are ready to go. Let's up on the chopper. It's for the completionist achievement. I don't even have my chopper at full level because it's pointless. And it's not really completionist. There is no achievement like that. But, yeah. LDE raid player 6265. I mean, I do lots of stupid things in the game. Like, we've crafted C4s, we've crafted probably a gun. We've crafted maybe even zip guns for the memes. Like, we've, we've, we've crafted here lots of things for the memes. But, yeah, well, let's get back to the first raid. But yeah, assembling all of those mods seems... I don't know, not even fun. Alright, let's open this thing up. I'm probably just gonna drop a C4 in the chopper. Imagine auto-clearing a raid. Okay. Maybe that would be cool. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, let's open up the door. And I want to open this thing up. Maybe there are more chests behind this door. Because as I said, I've done a little bit of research, but I don't remember. And I think that's pretty much it. Those will be all the chests that we can get. Let's try to open all of them up. Mm, some iron ore. Eh. Maybe it would be decent if you wanted to get iron, but... We're not taking that. We are not taking that. Alright, the second chest has some pieces of cloth. I'll take that stuff in order to craft bandages again. You cannot craft bandages during the raid because you will make noise. Alright, let's get the juicy steak, some gasoline, a little bit of raw turkey, and there we go, another, another raid, another wave. But is that it? Yeah, that's it. We probably dealt with another wave. Yeah, we've gotten the raw turkey. Mm, little bit of leather that I might bring back to the base. So, so far, raid is... Eh. It has, like, some resources. But still... And an entire ATV. Crazy. Oh, an entire stack of mana just almost missed that. It looks mediocre. Yes, well, it, every chest has something, right? Almost every chest is filled to the brim. Might be filled with garbage, but it 
it's filled with something. Could be worse, in my opinion. Alright, let's get that. Let's now get back to the chopper. Let's drop all of the loot. Then we might not die on the spike traps. And then we might come back to this raid again. Because I don't know what we're gonna get in those other chests. So let's do it. Um, this and a Glock and maybe a little bit of food. All right, let's die on the spikes. And then let's open up the rest of those few chests. Maybe that's enough hatchets. Maybe I will take one more hatchet from the base. So there we go. We just died. Occasionally. I wish we could recycle that ATV, says Straw. Yeah, that'd be epic. Recycle the ATV, get like 10 ATV, ATV transmissions. 30 gas cylinders, that'd be lovely. That'd be very lovely. Alright, let's drop some... Food. A little bit of iron will go to the top. Here in the warehouse. And then we have a Glock and a C4. Bro, music to loud says three more. We can always lower the volume. Oh my god, psych! I had no idea! There is no literally music. What are you talking about music to loud? What are you talking about, sir? Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your mind? Let's get one more hatchet because... I mean, four hatchets should be now, but I'll take one more broken hatchet. There we go. I'll get one more broken hatchet and that should be enough. I'm still collecting screws, cables, and satellites, even though I do not need them. Do you think that'll come in handy later? I don't know, maybe. How would I know? I have no idea. I mean, it's just, just keep collecting. Maybe one day they'll be useful. But yeah, we never know. We never know. If you have nothing better to do, then yeah, probably keep collecting them. But I don't think no one can answer answer that question, as we don't know. No one can answer that. The Glog healing items. Can I drop more stuff in the chopper? Gasoline, this, this, this. And I cannot even fill the chopper yet. Which is kind of crazy. All right, we are at 82 noise. I'll open this chest up. I'll get some more meat. And I'll open this chest. Wait, you know what? I'm going to I'm just going to do two two hits to this to that chest and that's it. I'll come back for it later. Let's get that. There we go. Now we should be able to fill the chopper up. There we go. Just didn't want to fill it up with pieces of cloth. There we go. Let's do two hits to this chest. Let's do a few hits here. Here. And all the way here. That's it, guys. Let's start opening the stuff up. And let's hope for the best. Nothing. Uh, some planks that I'll take. More of that stuff. Oh my goodness, the big one is here already. More iron ores. Let's see, we got a skedaddle from this base. Hey, we've opened up all of these chests and does this base get Sykes approval? Probably does get Sykes approval. I'd give it like a 2 out of 10. It's not 
insane raid, but every raid that gets 2 out of 10 gets Sykes approval, and I'd say that this raid barely gets Sykes approval, so let's give it a 2 out of 10. Sounds about right. I mean, it had some stack of bandages. And more bandages here. I don't know, man. Maybe 2 out of 10 is not high enough. I don't know. Again, it's just a number. As I said, this raid gets IX approval. Maybe it's 2 out of 10, maybe it's 10 out of 10. I don't know. Well, at least we're gonna craft a decent amount of bandages. Uh, 24 plus we had 20 in the chopper. So that's 44 bandages that we've gotten. Maybe 3 out of 10. Maybe. It's like, what do you think about the rewards from the farm event giving us season points instead of marks of excellence points? Well, I saw that a lot of people preferred marks of excellence points instead of season points. So I'd say that probably marks of excellence points were better. Like, it is nice to get some season points, but you don't really get lots of season points. Like, you get like, what, 3k in total? Maybe 3, 4k? I don't remember. You missed two stacks of metal, though. It's fine. We have a few thousand metal at the base. So it is okay. If we got a bunch of meat. I might as well just drop that to the doggos. There go. Eat. Five stacks of meat or whatever amount of meat that I've given them. It's going to last only for five hours. Wow. Um, let's drop this back here. I had an entire stack of turkey. Maybe I should have given them that, but I have just given them 50 or 60 steaks there. That's more than enough. Say like Conan Exiles videos, please. There will be a third episode of Conan Exiles, maybe tomorrow even. I can't promise when, but there will be another one soon-ish. Soon enough-ish. Uh, iron. Uh, and thick fabrics. Let's drop that there. Let's drop the rest of the stuff in the warehouse. And you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get ready for the second raid of the day. All right, let's call them on the radio. Nothing here. So let's give them something then. I'm, I'm going to give them an electronic circuit. Again, it's not the most efficient way to pay them. You can just pay them with a spear, but we have like 60, over 60 electronic circuits. And there is nothing we can do with them at this point. So I might as well just pay them with those electronic circuits. All right, let's call them on the radio and let's see what other tasks we got to do. Wait, while I'm waiting for them to spawn, we might as well quickly get rid of that healer from the base. But Saik, why would you do that? I don't know. I just don't like the way he stares at me. The raiders are probably back. Violence is not an option. All right. Got him. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. No more healer at the base. That's epic. He doesn't pay rent. He comes here and stays. At my base. Rent free. I don't like him. Okay, we got to deal. We got to craft five iron hatchets. A deal with the dealer. All right, so these tasks are pretty easy to do. Not going to lie. We're going to go for the raid like... Uh, Right now. Thought I saw something. Wait. No, nothing. I start seeing things, ladies and gents. I start seeing things. But everything's fine. Alright, so let's uh, call the raiders. Uh, excuse me, the dealer on the radio. Let's see what kind of things we gotta bring to him. Let's do at least one deal. If you can even call him on the radio. 
can't find a dealer on the radio. Apparently, we can't call him. I don't know why. I have no idea. Well, in any case, let's... Wait, before we do this, let's open up a blue crate. I'm pretty certain we should be able to open it, guys. So let's open up a blue crate. Oh, no, I can't do it because I wasted all the cards on purple cards. We could op... We can't even open it, no, for real. For realsies. Well, let's do it then. Let's craft armor, let's craft this. And yeah, but before we do this, let's go outside, let's check if there is a raider. The dealer. Because apparently I can't call him on the radio. And Seeing yo, Colbert! Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Thank you, Colbert! Sounds like... I don't know, some sort of propaganda, but hey, thanks mate for, <laughs> for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. I see, so so therefore I believe. Uh, I don't know, where's the dealer? Well, we don't have a dealer, so whatever, let's skip that. They say inbox. I don't think I have any cards in the inbox. Unless I do have something. Unless I do have them. But I'm pretty certain I don't have any cards as I've... Kind of checked for those cards quite recently. Caps, red, a lieutenant card, which is a green card. Um, that is pretty much it. And a whole lot of garbage. Well, let's skip this then, and let's guys craft five hatchets, and let's craft the armor set, and that's it. Okay, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And you're about to see us go on the second raid of the day. And also, guys, today we were supposed to play some Ark Survival. I got already ready. I got the Fjordur map. I was ready to live stream some Ark Survival, but I started a bit later. I want to live stream Ark Survival a bit longer, so I want to start Ark Survival live stream a bit earlier. So that's why I didn't live stream Ark Survival. But hey, there's always time for Ark Survival. So yeah, probably after tomorrow there will be an Ark Survival live stream. So yeah, I'm excited for the Fjordur map. I want to know what it's all about. I want to check it out, but yeah, I'm ready. I was ready for it. This. And let's get ready. Yo, Colbud! Sponsoring raid, Seawood Legend. Uh, thanks for the super chat. And yes, indeed, the Seawood lives on. The Seawood will always stay in our hearts. Thanks for sponsoring the raid. Uh, thanks for sponsoring the raid, mate. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Let's just craft five iron hatchets and let's go. Feed the dog was more food. I've given them almost 100 steaks. How many more steaks do you want me to give them? Hmm? Overfeeding is... Not healthy. Is it? Four and five. Let's go. This there. Let's drop some nails. Mm, where are the nails? There we go. There we have them. Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. Here. And that is it, ladies and gents. The only thing that's left for us is to craft some level 1 hatchets. And then we can skedaddle. Four and five. When is Raft survival, says Biraj. I assume that wave... Means raft. Uh, I don't know. Unless you mean wave survival. There's like some sort of a wave survival game. 
I've heard that there is some sort of a new survival game that came out on Steam a few days ago. I still haven't checked it out yet. Let's get it. Listen, guys, let's upgrade the weapons and let's roll. You know what? This broken Glock should be good enough. Let's get this broken Glock and these other Glocks and that should be fine. Because I usually like to take two full durability Glocks for a raid. That's... That... That's about enough. Some people are saying yes, yes, yes in the chat. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but... Yes? Yes, yes means yes. Let's go, ladies and gents. Let's hop on the chopper. And let's skedaddle. I've probably spoken to the raiders already. I'm pretty certain I've spoken to them. Again, people are saying yes. Guys, what's yes? Why do you say yes in the chat? Did I ask something? I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys, that I don't remember. More people are saying yes. Guys, stop it. What does yes mean? When will be Ark Survival? As I just mentioned, it was supposed to be today, but I started the live stream a bit later. I should not have done this. More people are saying yes in the chat. Guys! Well, I'll be yes as well. Yes! I'll even type with you in the chat. Yes! There we go. What? Yes! What? Yes! Guys, am I smart and very funny? I see lots of yeses in the chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Still, yes, are going in. All right. Let's eat one carrot and let's go for the raid. Lots of yeses. But can somebody actually elaborate? Like, what, what's happening? Biggie plush! Biggie plush, thanks for... For, for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Piggy Plush, welcome, welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Someone asked if buying a warehouse was worth it. That's why the yes comments. <laughs> All right. All right, understandable. Ghost 104, I'm pretty certain I've raided this base in the past. I remember this name. It's either going to be a garbage raid or a good raid. Duh. LDR raid Ghost 104. Oof. Oof! It should be a good raid. I mean, I think it's a, it's an actually good raid. I just don't know where and how do I enter it. There we go. We enter from here, enter from there. I remember raiding this base yes. multiple times. <laughs> cool, but thanks for the super chat. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I've heard a thing where they say that in some countries, in some cultures, you don't nod to say yes. You shake your head to say yes. So that'll be like, yes. Like, it seems wrong to do this, yes. But maybe some people do it. I have no idea. Maybe that's just a random rumor that I've heard. Maybe that's just a legend. An urban legend. Yes, guys. This raid is awesome. Seriously, the best raid ever. All right, so I go there. And what else do I do? Well, let's say I'm ready to go... ...and raid. In Europe, that means now, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's get a C4 from the base and let's go for that raid. No, that's true in some parts of the world. Yes, I mean, that's true because what? Because the internet told you that that's true, but have you ever seen a person that will be like, true? Also, the in Sweden, probably they say, oh that means God. that they agree, like when they do, <laughs> do we have any Swedes watching? Oh that's <laughs> mean that they agree. I've, I've seen that in the show somewhere. That <laughs> means yes, or they agree, or something else. I don't remember. 
And Eric Langsters, thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks for for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome, Eric Langster. Thanks for being here. Let's get a C4. Oh, maybe it's in Finland. Where they do to say yes, or maybe it's not yes. I don't know. In any case, guys, let's go for that raid, as this raid is going to be mwah. How are you doing, Saik? I'm doing alright. Hopefully you're doing as well. You're doing great as well. Let's go all the way here-ish, and let's start breaking into the base. There we go, then we're gonna drop a C4 probably here on the side in Kolbide. Yes, Jujus. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Jujus. Thanks, Kolbide, for the super chat. Thank you for everything, man. Welcome, welcome to the stream once again. Thank you, thank you. And this C4 goes to you, man. <laughs> let's explode the door. Alright, so then I probably have to drop another C4 in one of these other walls. But yeah, this raid is supposed to be fine. I remember I've raided this base multiple times, and every time I raid it, I don't remember where to enter it. Oops. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Uh, let's open this chest up, guys, and look at that. We're gonna get an insane amount of first aid kits. Which is lovely. That's just what the doctor ordered. Like, probably literally. This is actually cool. I have a C4 named after me. Uh, was it C4 named after you? Maybe C4 exploded after you. I don't know. In any case, that was the... That was the C4 after you. So yeah, probably let's die on the spike traps, and then we can continue opening up more chests. I just don't know where is where are the spike traps. Where are the spike traps? I don't think we got any. Yikes. Alright, so let's drop another C4 then. And then I'll wait for the... Zombies to spawn, almost called the raiders. Alright, and we gotta drop another C4 there, that's it. Let's open the inbox. Let's get another C4, ladies and gentlemen. And let's drop it. Imagine playing this game for years and then somebody uses a metal cutter and steals all your stuff. Well, there is so much loot at the base that they wouldn't be able to steal at once anyways. But if they ever add a metal cutter... We would be able to protect the base. As I said, I still don't think they're going to be adding metal cutters. But, yeah. Um, we can get more weapons. No, I didn't mean to kill all of them! It's the stupid metal cutter question. I blame that stupid question. Well, whatever. Let's open up one more chest and then let's not kill all the zombies. What do we got here? More bandages. Wow! This is actually lovely. And more Glocks! This raid is awesome. You know what else is awesome? Yo! So guys, thanks for being awesome. Alright, so I'll just save one of those. Toxic bombs. Except my doggo might deal with that dude fast enough. Go and punch me faster! Go and deal with me. Yeah. 
dead. I survived only for 24 minutes. Play The Walking Zombie 2 again, says Karishma. I don't know if I'll ever play it, but we'll see. What happened with the DayZ series, says uh, Lubimor. Uh, I think people weren't interested in DayZ, so it was pointless to continue with. But who knows, maybe DayZ will come back. Maybe there will be more DayZ in the future. I can't promise that. But we never know. We never know. So, guys, let's bring all the loot back to the base. So, how would you rate this base already? There are still some more chests to open up. But we've already gotten a decent amount of first aid kits. How many is that? Like, 140? Like, that's 148 kits. Plus, we have some more... 8 kits in our dead body there. Plus, some guns. Um... Let's just be ready for it. So I'll bring two bandages. Just in case. Just in case if things go south. 7 out of 10 just for the medkits, says Lord of Darkness. I do agree. Like, when once you get that many medkits, it's a great raid. Like, I would give it probably at least 7 out of 10 already. Medkits plus the ba plus the bandages. It's seriously 7 out of 10. You can open Last and Earth Clinic now. Yes. That's my goal. Free healthcare for everybody. You'll be able to get one med kit, one bandage, a day. You may be like, oh my god, thank, thank you so much! You need how many bandages to clear bunker alpha? Maybe stack, maybe two stacks of bandages, and you can get one from me. You're welcome. Oh my goodness! That's why I brought guys this thing. Let's equip the armor. The Glock and let's deal with this guy. There we go. That's why I brought one bandage, but again, we didn't really need it. We would have survived without it, but I brought it just in case. Just in case, huh? This, this, let's fill up the chopper again. 7 out of 10 for the Glocks, too. I, maybe, I actually don't know how many Glocks we've gotten. I mean, we've gotten only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Glocks here. Five, six Glocks so far. Maybe there are more, but I think we've got only six, seven Glocks. I don't know if that really deserves a seven out of ten. But perhaps one, two, three, four Glocks. Four, five, six, like six, seven something Glocks. Maybe there are more Glocks in the base. So we got to check it out. All right, do we got anything? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. All right, let's do a few hits to this chest. Wait, uh, I'm gonna open it. Oh, more weapons. Lovely, there was steel, I'll definitely take it. First of all, I wanna get rid of these level one hatchets. And perhaps I can get an entire new SWAT armor. Let's get that. There are the shoes. So I just need to get a helmet. There's got to be a helmet in one of these chests. Or maybe it doesn't exist, huh? Maybe it just doesn't exist. Well, I'll get a helmet from here then. That'll be our armor. And it looks so weird. I can't. I can't do it. I can't walk like this. This is how we'll walk. I don't care, guys. We, I can't. Whatever. Let's do a few hits. Yo, insane. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so we're just damaging all those chests. Will I be able to open all of them up? I don't know. Am I gonna try? Maybe should I use the... I mean, I have nothing in my inventory here now anyway, so even if I die, it's not really that big of a deal, right? So I don't need to use my reanimator. Right? Totally. Alright, let's see what we got here. Another Glock. Okay, so this place does have a decent amount of Glocks. And we got a new SWAT armor. That's what I'm talking about. That's why skins are so nice, you can mix and match armor and you'll never know, says Big Lady. That's the the only good part about the skins, I agree with this. 
I do agree with that. Wait, what was that? Oh, I just got garbage. That's what it was. That's what it was. A scar. All right. Oh my God, Cyric! A scar and copper bars. Don't forget them. Let's get the copper bars. Uh, I want to open up more things, but I gotta go back to the top. Then I'll slow down the the dude. I should have gotten the sneaking skill. The sprinting skill, sorry, not the sneaking skill. Oh, no, I almost got stuck there! Woof! Woof! Did you see, guys, that fast reaction? Did you see it? Did you see it? I got almost stuck there, but I didn't. And I slowed down the guy for a second, but I didn't have the sprinting skill, so what's the point? Huh? I almost got stuck in that ore. Okay, let's heal up real quick. Nothing there. I mean, maybe there was something. Heal, heal, schmuck! And I have no idea. That's it, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this place. If I've missed something, guys, it is fine. I've already gotten most of the loot in this base. And that is it. So this base definitely gets IX approval at least 7 out of 10. Maybe let's give it an 8 out of 10. I think 8 out of 10 seems... Uh, seems good enough, right? I think 8 out of 10 is good enough. Maybe we could even give it more, like 8.5 out of 10. I don't know, it's up to you guys to decide, but yeah, as I said, this base definitely gets IX approval. Really, really nice raid. 10 out of 10 for a scar, armor, and lovely 8 kits. Yes, just because we've gotten a scar, guys. It's 11 out of 10, just because of a scar. Just because of a scar. So yeah, I love this raid, it was epic. Hopefully we're gonna get more raids like that. Bonjour, que pasa, amigo, says insane, welcome. Que pasa, amigos? It means how are you doing in Japanese? I've taken some Japanese courses. I've paid 10 grand for them. Oh my god, Sarek, you just got scamazed. Okay, maybe I know better than you. Hmm? All right, let's drop the first aid kits and other things in the base. And let's empty our chopper and let's talk to the raiders and we're probably gonna do another raid. We ain't giving up like that. Damn, Sark, your Portuguese is insane. Portuguese is insane, thank you. I've taken courses on Portuguese as well. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed that. I'm glad, guys, when you notice these little things, it makes me very happy. Alright, let's get rid of these empty bottles. And three copper bars. Let's drop them and let's talk to the raiders again. Again. Like your opinion on the increased prices. Guys, what do you think this live stream is about? First of all, are you asking about increased prices in the game or increased prices in the world? I have no idea. I'm not... I don't know. I'm, I'm nobody. About increased prices in the shop. First of all, again, guys, I don't really know much about the increased prices in the shop. It's not like I look at that shop all the time. I don't know what prices have increased here or not. Second of all, it's bad. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say, it's bad. That's my opinion. All right, so let's pay them with another, uh, with another electronic circuit. This channel is ed educative because you learn Japanese, says Neos GS. Just don't tell that to anybody. 
or they'll put you in a psych ward. But yes, this is a very educational live stream. So we need to deal with three bulls at the farm. Let's go, baby. And then five turrets, and then we can go for the raid number three. So let's go to the farm. Let's get a Glock. Let's pop those bulls. And let's go. We might even use miniguns on the bulls. Maybe. It's like, what do you think of Netflix losing subscribers? <laughs> like, what do I know? I've heard of that, but do I really care about it? I don't know. It's like prices increase by 50%, says Warrior. Well, it's de it depends from probably region to region. In some regions, maybe some things have increased by 50%, but not everything has increased by 50%. In the game. In any case, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's bad. There. What can I say about it? It'll be harder now to buy in-game pixels. What can I say? Are you gonna buy the RDX 40 series? No. I'll have to update the entire computer. I'll need to probably get a... I don't know. No, I'm not buying it. At least not when it launches. And what I'm going to do with it. Play Last Day on Earth with RDX 4090? Uh, waiting... Thinking, guys. I came outside to do something. Oh, to deal with the bulls. So there's this. The prices increase does not get tax approval, so the noob gamer, yes indeed. The increased prices do not get tax approval. Wait, there we go. Now they do not get tax approval. It's like, what's your opinion on chat asking for your opinion, says Infinity Swift? Actually, pretty positive. My opinion is pretty positive. I like when the chat asks me opinions on opinions. All right, let's deal with this infected bull. There we go, one bull dead. Let's search for another one. It's like how to get a raid. You need to be, uh, again, all those questions can be answered in the description. In the description, I have the frequently asked questions section about last day on earth. So you can read that, but you need to be level 150 to raid. But there are other questions in the description as well. So make sure to skim through them. Maybe you'll learn something epic. Let me know if you've learned anything useful there. And we're going to deal now with other bulls. There we go, guys. Let's deal with the third bull. Try killing the big one, Cyric. I'll definitely try one day. I've only killed a big one like five or ten times maybe, but I'll definitely try to kill it. Thanks for your suggestion. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. What would I do without you guys? Without comments like that. We've only killed the big one ten times, but Sai, try to kill the big one. Yes. I'll definitely try to kill the big one. Thank you. Yes. Um, back to the base, I guess. We needed to do something else. We needed to deal with four turrets, but hey, we will do that. We'll clear the fourth floor ASAP as possible. We just need to get the weapons. Yes. There's even better death. I don't know if Sayak is being sarcasm or not, bruh. Literally sarcasm. I don't know if Sayak is being sarcasm. I can tell you one thing. I am not a sarcasm. I might be sarcastic, but I am not sarcasm. Is Sayak being sarcasm? 
Guys, you're hilarious. That's all I have to say. Sarcasm is Sark's middle name. All right. Is Sark being sarcasm? Are you sarcasm? Well, there's that. Okay, so we gotta go and deal with five thirds, right? Let's get some weapons. And let's go. That's probably enough Glocks, more than enough. Let's go, Sarcasms. For another raid. Actually, it's not another raid. It's the five thirds that we'll destroy and then we'll go for another raid. I look at the chat here on the right side so often, I probably look at the chat more than I look at the actual gameplay here. My neck actually hurts. You know what I'm thinking? I am thinking that I'll move the chat on the main screen and the game will go on the second screen. I think it will make more sense. I think that's what I'll actually do. If that's gonna work. There we go, except the game is not gonna be on full screen. But look at this, guys. Now I can read the chat here. It's pretty easy to read the chat, and now I can play the game on that screen. Pretty epic. Let's go back to the base. Hey guys, I'll require the password now. What's the password? <laughs> Move the chat to a new apartment. What? That's actually way better. Look at this. Now I can read the chat peacefully here. Amazing. Say, so guys, I need the password. What's the password? 51468 says, man, and very nice. Thanks for the password. I like watching you, but I don't like playing the game, says Ancho. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos. I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos. That's just weird, says Pink Lady. Is it weird, though? I said, like, probably 60% of the time I spend reading the... looking at the chat. So... There, except the game is supposed to be on a full screen, guys, but whatever. Let's go back here. <sighs> I'll put you back... I'll put you back, guys, in the corner. Uh, 51468. 51468. There we go, we did it. Now let's hop there. And let's clear the fourth floor. Sayak, check the stream. What do you mean check the stream? What's with the stream? Everything's fine with the stream, no? Sayak is a sarcasm. Yes. Sarcasm. Let's get the green coupon. And let's get that all. Can you make a storing guide? What on earth are you talking about? I'm probably not the right guy to tell you how to sort out your base. My base is... I'd say sort it out, but definitely it could be sorted out a bit better. So I'm not the right person to give you tips and tricks on how to sort your base. Definitely. Oh no, did I bring a shotgun? No, I did not. No. Well, then we're gonna blast them with our Glock. All right, let's load this room. Go on, copper ore, please. Yes! Poggers in the chat now, guys. I want to see at least three poggers in the chat for the epic copper ore. Very epic. Copper. Epic copper. Thank you guys for the poggers. Thank you. Eat water, so like you forgot for a long time. I've just drank some water, but let's eat some water as well. Oh, that's way better. That is way better. Always take the copper ore. Wait, did I take it? I thought I actually took it. I thought I actually took that copper ore. 
for a second I panicked. I was like, what's wrong with me? Um, this? Nothing inside of that storage. Just as in my head, am I right? Haha, <laughs> empty storage, empty head. That was like a mediocre joke. I'd give it like a, I don't know, 2 out of 10. Maybe even 1 out of 10. But hey, that's what we do here. You can't expect quality. On this live stream. We don't do that here. Alright, let's deal with this. Start. Let's pop it. And let's get another Glock. Before this one runs out. But Cyric, most of your jokes are triple dots as in... Infinity Swift. What do you mean by that triple dot? That my most of my jokes are hilarious. That most of my jokes make you roll and laugh on the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am somewhat of a comedian. Oh no, oh no. I was frozen so I didn't shoot fast enough. Why did you move to France? They have epic baguettes here, so that was literally the reason why. I was sick and tired of being a regular peasant. I wanted to eat bread. I wanted to eat real bread. So I came for baguettes. And croissants. The croissants in this place are... Mwah. But in all seriousness, I still have probably tried a croissant. Or... I mean, I've tried baguettes. Bread like bread. Bread like bread. Alright, Doggo, go on. Give me here... I don't know what we can get. A gun oil. <laughs> Look at this. If we're gonna get gun oil, I'm closing the live stream. Oh no, we've gotten a Glock! The live stream continues, ladies and gentlemen. We are not wrapping it up. That is the greatest reason to move, says Pink Lady. Yes! I'm glad that somebody agrees. Because that is indeed a great reason to move. Why else would you move to another country? You just move for food. If you want better, if you want better bread. And I moved for better bread. <laughs> bread. <laughs> Thumbs up says is it? Yes, indeed. Bread. Another Glock. And let's go through this room. The only problem at baguettes, as I said, they do dry out quite quickly. That's what I don't like about them. I mean, every fresh bread is probably gonna taste nice, right? But, uh, but baguettes, they dry out. Maybe if you have a big family, right? You buy a baguette for them. Let's say you got 10 kids. You buy one baguette. It'll disappear quickly. No waste. But when there are only two people in your family and you buy a baguette, that baguette will dry out because there's no way you'll eat it in one day. Unless you do eat it in one day. So yeah, for that reason, I tend to not buy baguettes because they dry out. And nobody likes a dry baguette. <laughs> Let's open up the chest here. We've got a steel bar, a copper bar, and some iron bars with the 
with med kits. There we go. Let's leave this place. So that was kind of all right. Fourth floor. I mean, we've gotten basically four steel plus four grenades. Not that bad. Again, we could have wall tricked some things here and there. We didn't have to destroy all of those turrets. But we've almost destroyed five turrets. We've destroyed only four turrets so far. We need to destroy one more. There we go. There's the turret here that I haven't destroyed yet. No! Schmuck! How is that possible? Okay, now it's gonna work. Oh, and this time we've even gotten a steel bar here, which we most of the time don't even get. So that's pretty nice. I'd say like 80% of the time you won't get a steel bar there. From my personal experience. But hey, let's get back to the base, ladies and gents. That's it. Let's go. Raid number three. I don't know. Um, mm, that's it. We can skedaddle. Yes, let's skedaddle. Right, we also have a broken Glock. I'll just delete it. There we go. It's more convenient. We have more space in the inventory and it's not disturbing me. Is the chopper empty? Yes, the chopper's empty. Give all blueprints from inbox to the scammer, says VQ Warrior. I mean, we could probably do it. Let's do it. That's actually a big brain. We are here already, so we might as well just do it. Let's go there. I want to give all those blueprints to the scammer, except my inventory might be full... Maybe I can put that stuff in the chopper then. Please tell me it'll fit. It has to fit. Again, it, we're not gonna get anything, but I have stuff in the inbox. And those blueprints take space. So let's just give that garbage. It'll take a few seconds. How to get more blueprints and guns? All the answer, uh, all the answers are in the description. Scroll to the bottom, and there's the section where I answer all of those questions. Oh my God, Sark! Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's go back here and let's get some of these mods. Okay, so it does take a while to take all those mods. Let's hit my inventory is full. So let's drag that stuff to the dude. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Blueprints. I'll be the first person on earth to get here a purple blueprint. Mark my words. We are getting the purple blueprint today. Oh my goodness, don't tell me I took some useless stuff. These wrenches. Oh my god, Psych, don't delete them. Look at this. Nothing happened there. You didn't see anything. All right, we are taking these blueprints little by little.
Let's set inventory is full. Let's add more of that stuff. There we go. We already have 27 blueprints, but we can get even more. One, two, three. Let's get some of that. That's it. Inventory is full. Oh my goodness. We got the black paint. I don't... The last thing I want to do is delete stuff from the inbox. It's all because of the scammer specialist. So we are already at 40 blueprints, 42, 43. More blueprints to give, hey? It's annoying that it's kind of laggy to take out stuff from the inbox. Wish I could just tick, 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 take all of them, but it takes time, guys, as you see, to take out these things from the inbox. Sadly, I can't double tap the blueprints. Would be very lovely if I could double tap it. There we go, level 55. How will you get content when you get purple machete? I don't think we're gonna get a purple machete blueprint. Not like I don't think I'm certain that we won't get any purple blueprints here because the scammer doesn't give you a purple blueprints. Oh, let's say we are done, ladies and gents. We no longer have any blueprints. We did it. Now let's exchange all of that stuff. There we go, 56 blueprints. So let's take all of them. And let's open that stuff up, ladies and gents. Uh, well, behind the face cam, we got this goop. And we got all of these blueprints, as I already have all the gray and blue blueprints. We don't have purple. We don't have only one purple blueprint, which is the machete purple blade blueprint. All right, let's give all of that stuff back. There we go, let's get more. I wish he gave purple ones. Yes, indeed, I totally agree. The fastest unboxing ever. Another Ripper Blade and Bone Handle, which... Hey, those mods are quite decent, but we have them. All right, let's get some more. We got 14 more. So yeah, occasionally we do get blue blueprints, which is something, but hey, we don't need that stuff. Got him, got him, and let's take both of those. And there we go, we did it. We exchanged all of those blueprints for absolutely nothing. Nothing. Imagine they drop blue blueprints update tomorrow, so I'd be like, well, maybe not the blue blueprint, you meant the purple blueprint update tomorrow. I doubt that they're gonna do it. And even if they do it, I'm not gonna be like, oh. It's fine. We did what we did. We did what we had to do. We did what we had to do, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's bring this stuff back to the base and let's get ready for the third or fourth raid of the day. Probably third one. I don't even remember now. Let's go. We got nothing out of nothing, says Warrior. Yes, indeed. Couldn't have warded better myself. Nothing out of nothing. 
There's a whole lot of nothing. We should make so that you can trade purple blueprints for other purple blueprints. Maybe, but that would be really easy to get all purple blueprints. But yeah, sure. Why not? Purple machete was the first print I had, says Shu. Very nice. Congrats on your purple machete blueprint. Um, the steel. We just need to drop some copper in that close to the warehouse, right? We have another chest where I store copper. So let's store a little bit of copper here. And we have a little bit of oak. Excuse me, that's not oak, but ash, right? Let's give some ash trees to these workbenches. And let's probably talk to the raiders. Let's see what other tasks they want me to do. The doggos. Okay, we need armor and 21st aid kits. Why don't you make more Last and Earth videos? Because as I answer this question many times already, I prefer to do a Last and Earth live stream than a Last and Earth video once. There is more Last and Earth content. There will be more Last and Earth videos. If it wasn't for Last and Earth live streams, I wouldn't be probably making Last Day on Earth content. I would have quit it probably like two or three years ago. Whenever I started live streaming here Last Day on Earth. Because there there isn't many updates. And there isn't much to make a video on. But a live stream is quite fun. Alright, so let's craft some armor. And some of that. Somebody asked, somebody asked about Conan Exiles. Probably tomorrow there is a new Conan Exiles video. Either tomorrow or after tomorrow. Probably tomorrow though. I think tomorrow there is another Conan Exiles video. Uh, armor. Wait, do I need armor or hatchets? Probably armor. Why don't you and your bodies go again on the miner, says Pulu. Where do you see my bodies? Where do you see my bodies? The only bodies that I have is this lamp and this lamp here. I don't have any bodies. And second of all, even if I had bodies that would fight the miner, I wouldn't want to go and fight that miner because I don't like it. There's lag. And uh, it's pointless and I don't know me and my buddies I ain't got no buddies that would fight the miner even the season pass rewards are goop this time says Sanji yes indeed um thank Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, first aid, because that's what we got to do. Almost forgotten about it. Let's get three stacks of first aid kits. Uh, aid kits. There we go, guys. Let's craft it. And Gaga Krimunk, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Sponsoring the raid 3x1 base raid. Uh, well, hopefully it'll be better than 3x1. We've had a 3x1 raid. I kid you not, guys. We've had a 3x1 base. And it had only one chest inside of it. I'd love to raid a base that's like literally 1x1 one one stone room. That would be very lovely. And uh, yeah, but I don't think we'll ever get a raid like this. But yeah, Gaga Krimunk, thanks for sponsoring the raid. Let's go. Let's get our 3 by one base. Let's go. Our favorite one. Our favorite 3 by one base. 
Uh, let's get this Glock. Why by one air? Like literally nothing. You just raid one by one base and there's nothing in it. Just air. That would be lovely. That would be lovely indeed. All right, let's get the hatches. Wait, but before we do this, I want to talk to the raiders. I want to see if I've done everything. Maybe there are some other tasks that I haven't finished. There we go. We've done everything. And Deepak Kumar, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Psych, how can I get the medicine cabinet faster? Wow. So you mean this one? There is no way of getting it faster. The It's going to take you a really, really long time. I don't even think it's worth it, but the only way to get it is by doing hard mode laboratory. Then you get those items and you exchange them with like whatever person there is. You know who she is. Eva probably, right? And on level 40, you'll be able to get this medicine cabinet. Like level 40 at the laboratory. So hopefully that answers your question, but there is no way to do it faster. There's only one way to do it, just clearing hard mode laboratory. One by one full of berries. That'd be a hilarious raid and I wouldn't mind it, to be honest with you. Uh, where is wood? There we go. We go a little bit of wood. It's like, how do I clear Bunker Alpha without guns, with melee weapons? Sometimes my genius surprises me. Thank you guys for being here and witnessing how genius I am. Cyric, how do I clear Bunker Alpha without guns? By using melee weapons. Seems like a great answer. But in all seriousness, you can wall trick. And uh, there is a link down in the description where you can check out my free-to-play playlist. And there I share all the tips and tricks. And in one of those videos where I go to clear Von Kralf, I show kind of how to wall trick there. So, hey, hopefully that answers your question. We got this. I don't think I got any C4s here. If we're gonna have any C4s, they will be in the inbox. And let's get that all. Oh no, I just had a terrible thought. What if the new workbench is actually just storage f decoration for junk? Says DA. No, no, no. There's no way that those were. Uh, that that's garbage. It's probably MDF planches, right? I think that's how they're called. I might be mistaken. MDF meaning... Yeah, medium density fiber board, right? Medium density fiber board. So that's what we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So for those who haven't seen it, somebody left a really nice comment, right? Shout out to that dude. Uh, but basically, it looks like we're going to be taking the sawdust, and from that sawdust, we're going to be pressing the MDF planches, the medium density fiber boards, which makes absolute sense because that's what it is. That's what it is. We are not making any bricks here, any large bricks, nothing. There's this canister, and there's the sawdust, and we're going to be making the MDF planches, and it makes 100 percent sense like it's it's super logic and i totally agree with this and i'm 99 percent certain that that's what this workbench is gonna do and we got this backpack let's go boomers actually we just gotta eat a carrot let's eat a carrot and let's go for a raid psych how can i clear bunker alpha without guns i've just literally answered your question and you've asked the same question six times and I've literally answered it and you're still asking it. Why do you do this to me? Why? Why? Hmm? What if that's sand and not sawdust says Beard Beer Raja? 
if you have a better suggestion what that is, then let me know. But that's not saying that's sawdust. You can literally see this. Look at this. Look at this. It's not saying it's sawdust. Because you see those planches behind those stones? It's literally those MDF planches. That's what it is. Like that thing behind the workbench. Is it this one? No, not this one. You can see it, it's in every screenshot there. Behind the workbench, there are those MDF planches. And they are literally the size of this workbench. So it's sawdust. Like there is no way it's not sawdust. It's... I am disappointed that I didn't think of this. But a shout out to that person. I want to go and find that name again. I want to shout out that dude. Because that was... I, that was the only person that... Uh, had a right idea about the workbench. That was Thiago Javier de Campos. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you because that's what it is. Why big planks for a second floor? I don't even, I don't know. Like, I don't think they make floors with those MDF planches. I guess you can do whatever you want with them, probably. But what we'll do with that stuff, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what is this rate? I didn't even do research! Well, we're doing a blind raid, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where to enter the base. The base is quite big. Excuse me, sir. I didn't do research. Well, let's... Let's get a C4. Or I could go and do some research right now. Or maybe no. Or maybe no. Well, let's drop a C4 here. That's it, I'm doing it. Player 9643 says Gaga Cream and... Damn it, I should have seen it before I placed the C4. Look at this raid. I don't think I've raided it in the past. I don't know, maybe I have. But let's check it out. Player 9643, let's go on YouTube and let's do a little bit of research on this raid real quick because I've just entered this base without the research. LDRE raid 9643. Ooh, this might be a good raid. This might be a decent raid. After all. Let's get another C4. Enter through a wall. Excuse me. Mister. Alright, so we just probably drop a C4 here, I guess, maybe. Unless I'm placing it in the wrong place. There we go, we did it. We are inside of the base. I don't know which chest is... Uh, which chest contains loot, but we'll s we'll figure it out soon enough. We'll figure it out, ladies and gents. One percent certain it's concrete blocks. Why would that be concrete blocks? All right, we got another weapon crate, and inside of the weapon crate, we've got an M16, which is epic. It hits different. If we would have just gotten that M16 from a box, just from this chest, it wouldn't be as awesome. But once you pull it out from a weapon crate, it's better. Do you agree? Do you feel me? Look at this, we've gotten a scar, ladies and gentlemen. A scar. If it ain't great, I don't know what is great. Good morning, see happy. Maximum Friday, says Matthew Spellman. So Saturday is a maximum Friday. All right, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great maximum Friday as well. A little bit of leather. And soon another wave is gonna spawn. Let's open it up.
All right, how do I open this up? I know it's possible. Stop it! It's so annoying that you can't click on it and open it up. I can't do it. So I just mine it. I'll make noise. Do you do you understand that? I'll make noise. Let's do a few hits here. And a few hits here. Dwayne Johnson is Dwayne Johnson is blocking you. Yes indeed, that's a great joke. Dwayne Johnson, huh? He do be like that. Alright, let's drop the guns. And a... And a hatchet as well. Near the stone, I saw the animation where you could open it. Wow, near the stone, I... It's, it's sad that I wasn't standing near the stone. There we go, we opened it. <laughs> I try to be I try to be funny about it, but actually it did work, so I thank you. Whoever was it. Mm. I can't find the name. Uh, Siepra, Siepra, thanks for the info. We did it. Near the stone it worked. It did work. Let's get the air filter. I mean I did see that we can open it up as well. I just I was just running around this place for a while and it didn't work, but apparently it's here. Okay, we did it. Anyways, that worked. Let's get some more turkey. The big one's gonna spawn. The dude's probably already here. Stop it. And two red tickets. I ain't giving up without the two red tickets. So that's it. Does this base get Sykes approval? I have no idea. I have no idea. Have I looted this? Alright, there's nothing. So yeah, this base gets Sykes approval. It has a few guns. How would you rate it? Psyche was trying to be sarcasm, says Infinity. Yes, indeed, guys. I tried to be sarcasm, but I ended up being a fool. I don't know. Give it a 3 out of 10. I think 3 out of 10 seems good enough. Matthew Spellman says 10 out of 10. Yes. 10 out of 10, indeed. Three maybe because you use two C4. It could have been one C4. I mean, I usually don't try to raid bases because of my stupidity. Like if I'm gonna use three C4s when only one C4 could have been used, I'm not gonna give a lesser rating because of that. Does that make sense? Let's try to raid the raid on what kind of loot we had inside of it and maybe how fun the raid was. Rather than of what I've done during that raid. Or how I messed it up. You know, if let's say that base had thousand AKs and I died with zero AKs and the base disappeared. I'm not gonna give that base a zero It's gonna be a 10 out of 10 base, but it's my fault that I died there So yeah, there's that uh, Let's drop guns In one of these chests Pretty decent rate, actually. Lots of weapons. Maybe three is not good enough. Three and a half out of ten. Maybe. I don't know. A good rate. That's it. That's all I have to say. A good rate, it gets axe approval. <laughs> gets five. Gets ten guns. Gets some steel and other garbage. Hmm. Two out of ten. Sounds good enough. There's that one dude in the chat. I would sell my soul for that kind of loot. Alright. Clear bond corral for then. And you'll get that kind of loot. Let's drop the air filters. I'll give those raiders an electronic circuit. Let's share that. Guys, I just had a random... Random thought. Somebody in the chat said, Psych, do you ever sleep? I don't think so. And I've just gotten the thought, what if I had a twin brother? And we both had a YouTube channel. And... Uh, 
Let's say I stream and then I just go and then he comes back and he looks exactly like me like hey twin brother, right? Same clothes, same everything and he just continues playing the game as if nothing happened and uh, you would never know that I'm gone, right? I take a nap and then we again change. I say I'll go get a cup of water and then I'll come and sit here. That would be genius. Kedun Guli Nagi. Sorry for the, that I butchered the name, but I thank you for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Kedun Guli. Sorry for butchered the name. Welcome, welcome. You stream at night and his day. Yes, indeed. We would all stream like, let's say, for like four hours each. Or maybe let's say 12 hours each. 12 hour shifts. <laughs> and non stop live stream. Non stop 24 7 live stream. And it's like, chat would be like, Psych, do you ever sleep? And I'm like, I don't need sleep. I think that would be quite hilarious. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Who wants to be my twin brother? Right now, let me know in the chat. We'll put a little bit of makeup and you'll be my twin brother. Uh, gasoline canisters. Let's drop the gas canisters here. Me! Very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of twin brothers. Instead of one, we'll have, like, let's say, 50 twin brothers. Like, every... Every hour we'll be able to switch. Life stream will come non-stop. Me, twin sister, does that work? It's fine, you can be a twin sister. All of you guys are invited to be twin brothers, twin sisters. We'll put a little bit of makeup, we'll give a mask. And nobody is ever gonna know. I have extra pair of glasses as well. Genius. Genius. You know what else is genius? Us doing... A Rubik's Cube. So let's go guys. Let's speed cube before we wrap up this live stream Speed uh, cube Timer, let's go. Let's get that speed cube timer Where to find twin brother? I don't know where to find a twin brother. I Just found lots of you guys. So I thank you uh, Let's go So to those that are new to the live stream and you're like, Psych, what is this? Well, usually at the end of the live stream, before I end the live stream, I... We do a little bit of speed cubing. My personal best was 30.6 seconds. And my second personal best was like 35 or 36 seconds. And then... And then... What else and then? And that's it. But I'll be happy if I get like 45 seconds or 50 seconds. So yeah, now I'm just practicing a little bit with the cube. I'm seeing how things go and then we'll go for it. Because I find that if I don't practice, I'll get a much worse time. So it's better if I practice a bit before we go for it. Like warming up definitely helps a bit. Where should we know if the person who is sitting there yet isn't your twin brother? You'll never know. That's the whole point about it. You'll never know if I am the twin brother or I am the real Cyric. Like, who is the real Cyric? You'll never know. Who is the real one? Is I, Am I the twin? Am I the original one or am I the twin? So, there is that. All right, let's do it. And I have one more thing to do, guys. Um, that's it, we did it, whatever. It's good enough, enough practice. Let's go now. 
Maybe you're a twin already today. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I am a twin, guys. You, you'll never know. Maybe I am a twin right now. But what does it mean being a twin? If I was always live streaming with my twin, let's say, for the past... Let's say, like, whatever years. I was constantly changing with my twin. Like, how would you know which one is the real one? Who is not the twin? I don't know what I'm talking even about, ladies and gentlemen. Those are like some shower thoughts. And timer, guys. You see the timer? It's there on the screen. Your twin is always sub-40 in the cube. No, the... Me. My twin... Look at this, guys. The... Somebody gave a great idea. Aloha Seattle 8, right? So if I'm gonna get the... You can know if I am the original one. Or the twin. The twin always gets... 50 plus... Seconds by solving the Rubik's Cube. The original Cyric. The real Cyric. Gets like 45 second solves, 40 second solves, and sub 40 second solves. So, there we go, guys. That's how you will know who is the real Cyric here. You will know if I'm a copy or I am the, ori the original one. Well, let's see. After so many years of streaming, I don't even know myself if I'm the real Cyric or I am just a twin. So, let's figure it out, I guess. Oh wow, it's gonna be a bit messy, but hey, let's do it. Let's do it, ladies and gents. I'm ready to go. Triplets. Maybe I am the triplet. Maybe I'm not a twin. Maybe I'm a triplet. Three, two, one. Let's go, bam, bam. Oh my goodness. That's a horrible time. I might be the twin after all. What's going on? Fifty-seven seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I am the twin. That's it. Actually, it's I am the twin, ladies and gentlemen. I am the twin. I am the twin. Welcome. I am the fake. I am not the fake Cyric. You are the twin, guys. I am not the fake Cyric. I am the Cyric. The the real Cyric. Come here. Okay, you can come. That's it, guys. Okay, so now the real Cyric will take over. That's it. So yeah, now we got the real Cyric here. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you can go. So that's it. The the fake Cyric is gone. The twin is gone. Now we got the real Cyric here, the master. So apparently my twin has gotten here 57 seconds. I think we can beat that. I'm pretty certain the twin was warming up. I don't even need to warm up. So hey, let's go. By the way, hello, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome, welcome. I haven't seen you today. Welcome, welcome, everybody. The noob fake Cyric had to... Warm up. We don't do that here. We don't need to warm up. Your twin did pathetic. Don't talk like that about my twin. My twin is fine. All right, let's do some more random spins, and I think it's good enough, ladies and gents. That's it. So we go there, there, there we go. I did it. Did it, 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 did it. Three, two, one. Look at this, ladies and gents. Beam, beam. Oh my goodness. Beam.
58 seconds. Guys. I have a... A secret to tell you. I am the twin. I am still the twin. <laughs> You're the twin is Cyric. You are sarcasm. I am just sarcasm, ladies and gentlemen. I am still the twin. Same guy, yes, guys, I'm still the twin. I'm still the twin. All right, I can switch now, guys. Do you want to see the real Cyric? The real Cyric will come, though. You lied to us again, guys. I apologize. <laughs> I'm the triplet. <laughs> the, the triplet gets worse numbers. There's three of us. The triplet gets usually the over one minute souls. I am the twin. And the original Cyric, the OG Cyric, might come here, guys. If you just want to see the original Cyric, then he's going to come here. Am I the first player who clears Bonker Alpha with an iron pickaxe as excellence? Wow. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. All right, I'll go get the, the, the real Cyric. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. I am the real Cyric now. I am totally the real Cyric. Cyric exception. There we go. I am the real Cyric. So look at this, and I will prove this to you. So, as my twin already told you, right? I listened to everything. As my twin already told you, he's a noob. Hello, real Cyric. Welcome to the chat, Sasai. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. My new brother has gotten twice. 57 and 58 seconds. You can't make that up. Only a twin can get these kind of results. Cyric, how's the last day on Earth sunset? Testing if you're the real one. Uh, I've never heard of the last day on Earth sunset. What is this? Maybe at that time when somebody spoke about last on Earth something, maybe that was the twin. In any case, guys, that's it. It's enough spins. Let's do a little bit of inspection. And let's get it all. And let's get it all. I'm doing it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bam. Did it 49 seconds. I am the real Cyric. Woo! That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I am the real Cyric. That's all I can say. You are a fake queen. No, guys, I am the real Cyric. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining to this awesome live stream. Not even Star Wars Saga had so many clones as Cyric does. There's only three of us. So there we go, ladies and gents. I will say goodbye. I will bring my... the the. Actually, there's only twins. There's no triplets. There's twins. There's me and my twin. So... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't the one who started the live stream. It was the twin that started the live stream. So I let the twin say goodbyes here because I just, I basically took over his job here.
It was his shift, not my shift. So I'm gonna let the twins say goodbye. And guys, see you probably on another live stream, but now my twins are gonna go there. So guys, I am the twin. So yeah, the real psych is gone. Now I'm the twin here. So I'll take care guys, see you probably after a few live streams because next time I'm gonna live stream that'll be the the OG Cyric as you call it I am just a twin so today I was the twin where's the fourth one there is no fourth one there's only two of us me and my twin that's it so yeah take care guys see you next time with another live stream and with another video take care everybody <laughs> bye twin I am Cyric I would like you to refer to me as Cyric. But I'm still a twin. You got the point, that what I mean. That's it. Take care, guys. Thanks for being here. You're awesome. All of you are the best. This fourth Cyric went to buy pizza. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's exactly what happened. The fourth Cyric is buying pizza right now. Take care, guys. I'll go and wait for the fourth Cyric to come back with pizza. And uh, you guys have an amazing day. Twin, do you know other Rubik's Cubes? No, we all know only 3x3s. Three we don't do anything else. I got you, I'll be your evil twin. Commencing growing beard with mind power. What? So yeah, take care, evil twins. Take care, everybody. And see you later. See you next time with another live stream, with another video, and whatever else we do here, guys. So take care. Uh, stay salty. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Have an amazing Saturday. Take care, everybody. Take care. Take care, guys.